Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, one question that a few of you have asked me, uh, because I was talking about how solid state drives, first of all, are not going to wear out on you. And that this is a big myth that's been going on for such a long time of, well, I'm trying to restrain my reads and writes, mostly writes, because reads do not damage technically a hard drive or a um, SSD. Um, but that is something that I talked about in a video last week where stop worrying about that. Even if you write to your SSD all the time, you, you won't wear it out. It will not, it'll go bad on you. At some point you will probably have changed your PC before anything like that could happen to an SSD. And today's solid state drives, of course, also have technology that, make sure that their same cells or the same memory cells are not written constantly at the same place, but spread out over the drive, um, over the memories uh, cells, so that there's kind of an equal um, write across the drive when you use it. And the question that came to a lot of you, um, because I got at least seven or eight requests on this, is would it because, of course, that came to be that, well, if you can't wear it out, really, would it be useful to um, defrag a SSD? And the answer is it doesn't help in any way. Because the reason why a defragmentation of a hard drive was useful was in the times when a mechanical head on an actual magnetic hard drive needed to move to get the data spread across the drive. So on a magnetic hard drive with platters and a little read write head, what happens is that that head needs to move to the positions where the bits are. And if it's all fragmented, it means that to read a file, it needs to constantly change its location and find the next area where the bits are to complete a load of a software, for example, or a document. And so the more it fragments, the more the drive is working hard to get the same file and thus, yes, making it slower in performance over time. And even you know, potentially even having an effect of maybe damaging the drive over time because it's mechanical and the harder it's going to work and the harder, you know, that read-write head has to always go back and forth. Well, it will over time, of course, um, degrade and, and, you know, get some usage. But on an SSD, what you're reading is memory cells. So there's no real speed in reading one or another or another. Um, the computer, you know, the, the solid state drive simply goes through a list of here are where all the parts of this software is, just load. So it simply already goes through a list of I'm reading this memory cell, this memory cell, this memory cell. It doesn't have a read the next one, the next one, the next one like a hard drive. It's really just read this memory address, this memory address, this memory address. So if you would break a file in a million pieces spread out over an SSD, it still would have the same speed because it simply reads the memory address that it needs to access the bits. And so there's no actual physical movement or anything. It's just reading memory cells. So there's no advantage in defragmenting an SSD because it doesn't improve or doesn't add speed to it at all. It's simply reading memory addresses. It's really in the case of a mechanical hard drive that that process is important. And a heavily fragmented hard drive was, of course, much slower, which is not the case of an SSD. It doesn't matter. Uh, honestly. If you uh, enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.